Well, good morning, folks. Beautiful day out here on Lake Guntersville. Uh, the water temperature this morning is 51 degrees on top. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a little bit of vertical jigging, um, fishing a bridge uh, this morning. I've done been checking some treetops out this morning, and there's no fish on them. Um, the surface temperature, like I said, is 51 degrees. It's going to have to go on up right here before the movement happens. A little bit early. And it's kind of the weather conditions. Basically, we uh, the weather conditions has been fickle here in the Tennessee Valley. But let's go catch a few crappie. Before we get started fishing, I'm just going to show you what I'm using today. It's uh, Moonshine Crappie Jigs made by Perry Pippinger from Texas. They're hand tied jigs and um, I have a tremendous amount of confidence in them. They're gold and sharp truths with a little silver tinsel. Work real good under stained water conditions like today. Let's go. Woo! Hey man, woo! All right, here we are. Let's pull on in here and see if there's any fish right here on this drop off. Uh, today, I'm going to be using Perry Pippinger's hand tied jig right here. The water is real cloudy and muddy, so I'm using a golden sharp truce, like I mentioned. Size, it's a 132nd ounce with a size six sickle hook. I'm using slab saws for an attractant. And I have this tied with a loop knot right here. Anytime I'm vertically presenting a crappie uh, with a jig, I always tie a loop knot. I've been sort of limited where I can, last week or two, it's been a lot of limitations on where I can fish and where I, and where I can't fish. I'm not going to move this bait very fast at all because this water is real dingy. It's almost still muddy. So I'm going to fish real, real, real slow. Just pick that jig up and let it fall. Really, all I'm trying to do is just hold that jig in front of that crappie's face and hope he commits. Elmer ain't here today, and the reason why he ate some bad chili last night, so he's... He's not going to be able to function for a while. There we go. First one of the day. <clears throat> that fish is fighting right here, folks. There's a reason. There's a big fish right here. Big crappie. We'll get him on out here in the sun so we can see him a little bit I barely have enough room to set the hook up under this bridge look here what a fish my goodness let's get a net right here excuse me y'all can see how muddy that water is that's the reason why I love that gold look at there now that's a big one That is a big fish right there. He's girthy, that's what makes him so big. Now folks, that right there is a good fish. For the Tennessee River, it's a real good fish. Check him out. That's about as healthy a crappie as I've ever seen. But there's only one problem. I want to catch another one. Let's release this fish. Let's catch our another. Okay, that's what we do. Love it. Hey. Okay, you pretty thing. It ain't gonna be long. You're gonna be laying some eggs and making more pretty crappie. There he goes. Hey. Whoa. Let's catch another one. Yeah, I got one right now. This is 
pretty good fish right here. We'll fight him on out here in the sun so we can see him, folks. I try not to move a whole lot so y'all can see what's going on. I'm trying to improve that. There we go. It's a black crappie. Woo, they're eating that golden shark truce up today. And it's kind of the, that's a perfect color right there, by the way, folks, for muddy water, in my opinion. Golden shark truce. Let's let him go. Watch him go back. All right. Hey, let's vertical jig another fish up. Straight to business. There we go. Wow. Mm -hmm. I can't tell y'all how them things pull. These fish is actually going a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. Why, I don't know. That's just the nature of a crappie. That's one tip that I know for a fact it might help. If you're catching them at one depth and they quit biting, go a little deeper or shallow up until you find them again. They'll move up and down in that water column. That's pretty well fact. Let's let that crappie go. See if we can't get it back down there at that depth. Uh, that one was probably around 15 feet. There we go. <laughs> I hesitated, ooh, on that fish a little bit. This is a big one, folks. Yeah, that's a big one. That's probably the biggest one of the day so far. My goodness. Looky there, what a fish. I set the hook on it and it just wasn't no moving this one. God. He's more heavy than long. Whew. What are you doing? Hitting that like that, you pretty thing, you. Nothing like it now. I'm talking about going back. All right, folks, we got it done. Vertical jigging was the key for the day. Muddy water, precise depth control is real important. And as far as colors, gold and sharp truths, red and white, solid centered white, are basically my best colors. Uh, those three there, I always catch crappie in muddy water conditions or stained. Very good colors. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to Jeff Jefferson, who's from Mobile, Alabama. He's down there with the redfish and speckled trout on. Boy, I love it down there. I'm, I'd love to do some videos that, that way, catching, well, flounder, speckled trout, and redfish. It'd be a lot of fun. Um, he sent me some jigs right here, and it's called a crappie crawl kit right here where you can see them through here. They're just small crawfish with some jigs, and I thank you very much, uh, Jeff, for those. I'll use them in one of these videos, I guarantee you. That's what I call support, folks, um, as far as sponsorship and stuff like that. Eh, no. I have um, a tremendous amount of faith in just being able to go and buy your own stuff or receiving stuff like this and, and just catching fish. It's all about the sport to me. Um, just real simply put, I just love the sport of fishing and I don't want to tarnish it in any way. And I want to say thank y'all very much for watching all the great comments. And there's one thing for sure that I, that I know. You're either furry or you're a gannet, 
there's no in between. It's either one way or the other. Because, hey. Remember, go fishing with the game, but go.